what's up guys it's your boy no legacy man we're back again guys we did it man we just <laughs> we just completed the gauntlet man stage 30 we finally did it and you know it was it was pretty hard it was a grind obviously but yeah i'm pretty satisfied with how everything went you know i'm pretty satisfied with the rewards too uh, i'll let you guys see it at the end you know i'll leave it for you guys to judge so yeah let's talk about the fight man it's one fight and it's against garris man yes they made garris the final boss of the gauntlet man why because he's top tier man he's one of the best characters in the game easily easily could be a final boss on his own man because he's that good and, and he can't die obviously you know so yeah that's garris for you man now let's move on to the modifiers man first of all this these are one of the scariest set of modifiers i played in the entire gauntlet and i played some pretty crazy ones getting up to this man y'all know y'all know because he, i know you guys have played it as well so the first one i'm gonna warn you guys about is the totem because that makes him invincible for a short period of time so you can't even do any attacks at all at that time and the best thing you can do is just keep blocking and even that he just grabs you a lot and he does a lot of damage because the other modifier makes his damage like his damage output crazy look at his hands so you don't want to let this guy touch you at all man you want to be the one doing all the offense so what i did to counter those things was um i got keep away consumables like the molina side because it hits twice and it's pretty fast and it stuns the opponent for some time and the other one I got was Kongjin's arrow because it also stuns the opponent for some times and it does damage. So and buying time is also essential because you just want to let your consumables keep recharging fast enough before you attack. Uh, the other one I recommend was uh, having one spot for your health. So it doesn't really matter which health one you use, um, depends on your preference. Uh, I use the one that regenerates the health in over a couple seconds, you know, 100%. That was also really essential. And uh, to counter the totem, I used um, a whole tower consumable that removes totems from the game. It completely disables them. So that helped me a lot, trust me. Uh, yeah, you just want to pick your time to attack, man. You want to block low at all times because he will spam that quick sand move where he you know sinks you into the ground brings you up smashes you with hammers so yeah you pretty much don't want to deal with that so yeah that's my thoughts on how to beat this tower it's, it's pretty hard i think they increased the difficulty it's either in hard or very hard he definitely reads your attacks more and definitely punishes you a lot more so be careful of that because he hits like a truck trust me so yeah and that's my thoughts uh, I'll let you guys watch the rest of the gameplay and come back and just give my thoughts on the rewards. Uppercut take two. Action. Cut. Who hired this guy? What the fuck? Deadly uppercut take 19. Fatality. Johnny Cage wins. And so there we have it guys, we finally get to put an end to the nightmare that we call the gauntlet. And yeah, it's pretty good, you know, finally get to get the Liu Kang Fire God skin, along with a Kung Lao skin and a Garrus skin. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to leave you guys with some clips of the Liu Kang skin, you know, just just so you can see if it's worth it for you or not. And that's, and that's it, man. It's your boy, No Legacy. I'm out. Like and subscribe, yeah.